<laughs> yeah, that Vince Neil is a shitty singer. Oh, oh, hi, YouTube. I'm just looking at the old YouTube and Twitter feed here and just checking up on what's been going on lately. Ghostbusters Paul Rudd. Okay. I can't wait to join the cast this fall for Ghostbusters. So for me, quite possibly the best news to come out of this new Ghostbusters movie since they dropped that they were not going to continue that 2016 fucking abomination is the fact that Paul Rudd, motherfucking Ant-Man, is going to be in the new Ghostbusters movie in 2020. And he announced it in style via Twitter. When I heard that Jason Reitman was going to be doing a new version in the fall, and my agents called him and said, hey, Jason, we hear there's a part of a young, semi-young, strapping man that needs to be cast. Who are you gonna call when I heard they were going to call me. Well, as you can imagine, I nearly slimed myself. I can't wait to join the cast this fall for Ghostbusters. In fact, I'm sliming myself right now. This has been a fucking dream casting decision for me for a long, long time. You know, a few years ago when it was announced that they were going to reboot Ghostbusters, and they weren't going to follow the original two films. You know, as much as I was fucking pissed off, my mind was swirling about who could potentially fill the shoes of those classic Ghostbusters. And Paul Rudd was always a name I went back to. I just feel like he is a perfect fit for what the franchise is. You know, I love his acting, but you know, more than that, it's just his real sense of humor and his comedic timing. I just feel like it is a natural, natural fit and it might be heresy to say this but I always felt like if they were going to do a reboot of the original movie and keep the same characters he would have been a pretty good Vankman you know a modern interpretation of Vankman because I feel like he can pull off that same sort of smarmy overconfidence that Bill Murray could do and still be likable and still have charisma without coming off as just an asshole or a douchebag. Very much like how Bill Murray did in the original films. But goddamn, this casting news just keeps getting better and better. It was revealed a couple weeks ago that Sigourney Weaver was officially going to be coming back, but she did in a way kind of hint that Bill Murray may finally return as Peter Vankman something we've wanted him to do for years. And something, something you should have done years ago, and maybe we could have done the proper fucking Ghostbusters 3, except for that fucking, fucking piece of shit movie that we got three fucking years ago. And also, you know, we're getting Annie Potts back. I think the only way I could possibly get any happier about the cast is if Rick Moranis came out of retirement and reprised his role as Lewis Tully. I mean, Jesus Christ, if that were to fucking happen, I think I would just explode into a big fucking fat ball of just ectoplasm and sheer joy. But I do have to admit, the news about the story centering around two children, it does leave me a little bit skeptical and it does give me a little bit of pause. Now don't get me wrong, the young actor and the young actress who they have in these roles, they're great. They are really good. I just feel a lot like the 2016 movie that casted all women. It feels kind of gimmicky. And in my opinion, I feel like it's kind of aping off of the successes of shit like It and Stranger Things. I mean, Jesus Christ, the one kid has been in both of those movies and he's now in this one. So, so you can kind of get where my train of thought is at here. But even though I am a little skeptical, I still trust the creative forces behind this movie. I still trust Jason Reitman. I still trust Ivan Reitman. And I feel like they wouldn't do something that would adversely impact the outcome of this film. And let's put it this way, I trust them a lot more than I trust Paul fucking Fee. 
And the last little bit of news I will say about this movie coming out is that it's not going to be titled Ghostbusters 3. Instead, they're just going to title it Ghostbusters 2020. I just think it sounds fucking stupid. Ghostbusters 3 sounds fine to me, but at least they ain't pulling a Halloween 2018 and just calling it Ghostbusters. But that's all. I just wanted to get this quickly out there. I really wanted to get this video out yesterday, but I was busy with shit. And when I got home, I just got lazy and didn't want to get off my fat ass and do it. So I'm doing it now. What are your guys' thoughts? Are you as excited as I am about Paul Rudd joining this cast? What do you feel about the casting thus far? What are your thoughts on the story that they're supposedly going with? What are your feelings on the title? Do you think it's as dumb as I do? Let me know in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Adios and GTFO.